southern leg, inside crescent kick, do 10 on each side. of southern legs. I don't think we'll move forward today. We'll probably just keep working on that since it's pretty challenging. If you have any feedback about how fast or slow you feel like the class has been going, please feel free to reach out. If there's any specific move in southern legs that you want to go and revisit, please feel free to reach out. You can either text the school, you can comment on YouTube, comment on Facebook, you can email the school, and we will revisit whatever you need to. Or if you feel like we're just going through the form too fast in general, you can let me know. Or if you're like, oh, this is so boring, we've gone over this so many times, you can also let us know that. So we'll get started reviewing. We're going to start with our left foot forward, cat stance. Double claws pointing down. Pivot, turn, lift your right knee. Hop to 90 degrees. If you can just do it one time, that's awesome. If you have to do it multiple times, that's also okay. We're gonna swing our right knee out. Inside crescent, jump back to 90. Swing the left knee out. Inside crescent, do our hacky sack, reach back with your right, pump the knee up, strike the bottom of your left foot, reach back with your left foot, pump the left knee up, strike the bottom of your right foot. We're going to circle our right knee out, inside crescent, shoot the left leg back, pull our hands into fists, just like our tiger saw with this, and then we're going to shift into a left bow stance, push out with one finger. We're going to circle our left hand up and hit the back of our right thigh. We're going to kick out with our right foot and drop down, and then drop down with our right leg. We want our right arm outstretched. We're going to take our left leg, reach it all the way as far as we can behind us, and then we're going to kick it as far as we can out towards our right arm. Then we're going to bring our legs in. Our right leg is going to kick out like a side kick. Left foot protects our groin. And we're going to have our left shoulder on the ground. We're on our left side. All right. Reset. Let's go through it a little bit faster. And then we're just going to focus on that last part as we're getting to the ground and the ground portion. yourself with one hand or two. I have weak wrists, so I do two. Drop down. Put your right shoulder on the ground. Reach back with your left leg, and you're going to kick it all the way out. Leg wide open. Bring your feet in. Kick out with your right, and guard your groin with your left foot. Very good. Reset. Let's go to this portion right here where we're in our right foot forward cat stance or 
bow stance and our fists one on top of the other right by our hip we're going to shift into a left bow stance remember we want this bow stance to be as low as possible we want to be close to the ground because we're about to kick out and drop to the ground all right so the lower you are in this bow stance the easier it's going to be to get to the ground as we shift we push out with one finger using our right hand left hand is chambered circle the right hand up strike the back of your right leg kick out with your right catch yourself and then drop to the ground we want to put our right shoulder onto the ground take our left leg reach back as far as we can and then swing our right leg or our left leg all the way to the right legs wide open then bring your feet in we're going to kick out with our right and guard our groin with our left you should be on your left shoulder i used to have a tendency to want to prop myself up on my elbow you don't want to do that you just want to be on your left shoulder all right and reset let's go back to our bow stance right after our kicks shift into a left bow stance one finger circle your left your right hand strike the back of your right leg kick out with your right catch yourself your hip your thigh should all be off the ground during the kick and then you'll drop down drop your shoulder down reach your arm right arm out we're going to reach back as far as we can with our left and throw it out to the right legs wide open bring your feet in we want to kick out with our right guard with our left all right go ahead and try that on your own three times starting from our right foot forward bow stance and see how much you can do of course the quicker you can get your left leg swinging the easier it's going to be because this move is all about momentum we want to use that momentum to swing our legs open and then get onto our left side kick out and guard our groin all right so go ahead and try that on your own three times and then we'll do it together one last time and then we'll bow out Hopefully that was enough time for you to practice that on your own three times. If not, you can always pause the video. Um, we're going to do that portion together one last time before we bow out. So we'll just start, actually let's start from the end of our hacky sack where we circle our right leg out, do our kick. All right. And shoot our leg back into the bow stance shift, kick out, reach back, and kick out. Very good. All right, I challenge you to try that on your own from the beginning two more times. 
even if you can't remember the sequence, even if you only get to the hacky sack and then you're like, I don't know what comes next, that's okay. Try to remember as much as you can and give your brain an opportunity to fill in the gaps that will help your learning. All right, we're gonna go ahead and bow out.